So here's the current flood protection system in, uh, in and around New Orleans. So the big problems we had were in the uh, lower ninth ward, um, the industrial canal here uh, broke. Um, flooding came in from uh, the Mississippi River Gulf out outlet. It's called Mr. Go, that's now sealed. Um, and, and flooding came in from uh, Lake Pontchartrain. People think that flooding came from the river and went that way. It didn't, it came in from this way. So all these guys popped, uh, London, Orleans, um, 17th Street. Um, they all, they all, I mean, there's, there's multiple failures all around, but <clears throat> the ones we most typically talk about is the, essentially the, the breaking of this flood wall that floods the lower nine, and then the flooding associated with these drainage canals, which are designed to pump the city of New Orleans um, every day, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, uh, using um, wood screws, wood pumps, and um, uh, they uh, pump water, dump it into pipes, and those pipes gravity feed down to here. So this is Lake Pontchartrain, but it's actually sea level. It's actually the ocean. It's a, it's a, it's a, a very strange embayment, basically. Whereas this is, is higher than the sea level um, uh, because it's, it's gravity feeding down to the Gulf of Mexico over there. So this all floods <clears throat> in the wake of uh, about 80% of the city floods. In the wake of that catastrophe, um, the levee boards, which were the entities scattered across Louisiana that manage floods and are responsible for their local areas, um, got a lot of uh, criticism and a lot of critique. So one of the issues was uh, these folks had a lot of political appointees, et cetera, and weren't necessarily um, uh, uh, engineering or scientists or, or people that understand the um, me mechanics of construction and, and, and water movement, et cetera. So things are reorganized. One of the, re one of the outcomes is the um, uh, flood protection um, district east, and that's where we are now. So, so east deals with all of this stuff, Orleans, and then out here, St. Bernard, and out here um, uh, to the right. And then um, uh, uh, the, the West District handles all the stuff uh, west of the river, all the structures. Generally speaking, the Army Corps of Engineers builds these structures, uh, builds the, does the construction, and then turns it over to local control, in this case, the, um, the Flood Protection District. And, um, and so that's what's going on here. And so we are, as we're recording this, we're right here by this uh, Lake Bourne uh, uh, surge barrier. And so if we walk outside, you will see what that looks like. So we're here, we're walking on the, walking on the wall, essentially. And this wall here is a part of the risk reduction system, the flood protection system. Um, so that is Lake Bourne, and that is essentially the ocean and ocean level water coming that during a storm, during storm surge, as the hurricane pushes water up, that would be very high, and that would push water into um, uh, New Orleans. So like downtown, well, what they call the Central Business District, et cetera, French Quarter, that kind of stuff is over there. Um, and so this giant wall that cost a billion dollars and took um, about four years to build, um, which runs 1.8 miles all the way along this area to prevent storm surge and other ecological functioning, but that's another conversation. Um, and, uh, and, and so these two clamshells here swing closed and would pinch off and cut off um, the ability of that high water to get into um, uh, the area that is vulnerable, protected, uh, and, uh, and that we're trying to make sure people don't die in or the businesses don't get destroyed in. So this is um, the current lay of the land of flood protection and, and storm risk reduction uh, here uh, in New Orleans.